The city's contentious bike plan, a, a plan to install bike lanes through Kitsilano continues to draw controversy tonight as hundreds packed Vancouver City Hall to speak before council. And as Mayor Baines reports, the debate continues to divide, but the issue won't be settled for days to come. Concerned residents pack City Hall tonight waiting to voice their opinions on a plan to create more bike lanes and change the way traffic moves through the west side of Vancouver now that City Hall staff are recommending the creation of a seaside greenway. With it comes controversial changes, including making a section of Point Grey Road from Alma to McDonald Street open to only bike lanes and local traffic and adds bike lanes to York Avenue. Tonight, opponents came out swinging. Problems, of course, will be loss of parking, uh, traffic gridlock, and decreased property values, except, of course, for the privileged few. Please listen to us and revisit the, uh, the proposal and, re and consider community livability. It reduces access for people who cannot travel any distance by foot or wheelchair. It reduces access to an important beachfront area for the most fragile and vulnerable people, and it reduces access to an important senior centre. All the speakers won't be heard tonight. That means no decision just yet. A bike lane proposal for Union Street on Vancouver's east side is also generating friction. This morning, opponents held a protest to complain that City Hall isn't listening to them. Councillor George Affleck says Vision Vancouver's council majority has pushed through bike lane proposals in the past and says this plan could meet a similar fate. You have 200 speakers signed up, uh, a majority very angry. Uh, you clearly have to step back and go, OK, uh, <laughs> the neighbours aren't happy uh, and the people of the city aren't happy and it's our job as their representatives to listen to them. Still, Vision Councillor Jeff Meggs says consultation has been done and says a final decision hasn't been made. I know that we've had a view for a long time that we need to close that gap so everybody who wants to can cycle safely out to the beaches and that kind of thing, and, and this plan closes that gap. It's been changed a lot as a result of the consultations. City staff is recommending that council approve the plan. More speakers will be heard at City Hall on Thursday night. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.